Okay guys, I'm here with my Ring of Honor TV review for um, March 3rd, 2012. Uh, I guess the big news I should talk about first is this whole WWE getting uh, blocked by Ring of Honor contracts trying to sign the Briscoes and Adam Cole. Apparently there was this big story on the internet saying that the Briscoes and Adam Cole were offered WWE contracts, but Ring of Honor's contracts blocked them from getting a job in WWE. And everybody was getting really pissed off about this, wanting the Briscoes and Adam Cole to be able to go to WWE. Um, but apparently this was all false. Uh, it was all bullshit. Jay Briscoe said on Twitter um, that that wasn't the case and that the internet is fucking stupid. That's exactly what he said. And so today they posted this uh, funny picture of the Briscoes and Adam Cole heading for a door and then Jim Cornette standing in front of it like, no, don't go, or something like that, like preventing them. I don't know, so I guess they were kind of just poking fun at the internet and how everybody got all riled up over nothing. Um, so yeah, there's, there's no problem going on with the Briscoes being offered a deal with WWE and then it getting blocked by the Ring of Honor contracts. That's not happening, so that's, that's just some gay rumor that they put out there. Um, Okay, so for the show, for tonight's show, we have Nigel and Kevin Kelly uh, opening the show, running down the card. Um, we have Mike Bennett and Maria talking backstage uh, about his match against Lance Storm at the March 30th show. Um, then we have TJ Perkins, and he says that all Bennett's been talking about lately is Lance Storm, and he should be focused on their match tonight. He says he couldn't stop him if the match took place in a phone booth and no one knows when they're going to be struck by lightning till it's too late. Uh, this was an okay promo by TJ Perkins. Um, so we have Mike Bennett versus TJ Perkins. This was a pretty good match. It was a little short. Uh, they had three matches on the show tonight, and two of them were really short, which gave the main event a lot more time. And they ran the show right to the last second. It basically just got cut off. So they had a lot of stuff to pack into the show before the pay-per-view tomorrow. Um, but yes, this was a this was a good match. Um, <clears throat> basically, Maria at one point distracts TJ, and when he's running into the while the referee tries to get her down, he runs the ropes. Brutal Bob grabs him. Uh, he tries to choke TJ through the ropes. Um, TJ hits a dive onto the outside, hitting Bennett and Brutal Bob. Uh, then TJ Perkins gets Bennett in a modified STF, and Maria grabs Bennett. And TJ pulls Bennett back into the ring, and it, this brings Maria into the ring too. <clears throat> so while all this is going on, Bennett hits the he hits a TKO on uh, TJ Perkins for the win. So this was an okay match. Um, we have Jay Lethal backstage. He says he knows he's not just facing Champa at the pay per view; he's facing the entire embassy. But everyone falls to the lethal injection. Then we have the embassy with Veda Scott. Ciampa says nothing is at risk at the pay-per-view because he has nothing to lose. Jay Lethal has everything to lose, and he will leave the pay-per-view the first undefeated champion in uh, Ring of Honor history. Then we have Guy Alexander versus Tomasa Ciampa. Um, I thought this was fine. It was very short, though, um, but it made Ciampa look like a monster. And I'm starting to like Ciampa more and more now. Um, the announcers talk about how Guy Alexander had back surgery recently. Ciampa works over his back the whole time. He starts whipping the guy on the outside from the apron to the guardrail back and forth repeatedly, smashes the guy into the guardrail, and then he puts him in the corner, and the guy is just laying there with his head on the turnbuckle, and Ciampa hits him with the running knee to the face, and then he just hits him seven times. He hits him with seven running knees to the face. The guy, um, Guy Alexander, gets knocked unconscious, and the referee stops the match due to a knockout. So Ciampa gets the win here too. He stays undefeated. Um, we have the Briscoes talking about how the Young Bucks are fast, they're quick, and they are taking them seriously. Um, then we see Kevin Steen. Kevin Steen puts on a party hat because it's the 10th anniversary, and he says he's glad that the match at the pay-per-view is going to be against Jimmy Jacobs, and he's going to let the blood flow. Um, they book some more matches for the March 30th, 31st pay-per-view show. We have All Night Express versus the Young Bucks on both shows. Uh, Briscoes versus World's Greatest Tag Team, Lance Storm versus Mike Bennett, 
Um, Kevin Kelly puts over both shows. He says there's going to be 16 matches. Um, All Night Express cuts a promo about how they want their match on uh, March 30th against the Young Bucks to be a street fight. The Young Bucks won a Tornado Tag match. So I guess uh, 30th we get the street fight. March 31st we get the Tornado Tag match. Um, Kevin Kelly says that both pay-per-views and this weekend's pay-per-view will feature Chikara guys. And he puts over the Chikara company. Um, I expect the invasion angle to happen Sunday. Uh, we have the main event, which is Roderick Strong versus Eddie Edwards, um, with the winner getting a title shot March 30th. Uh, this was a really good match. These guys beat the hell out of each other here tonight. Um, eventually, Truth Martini gets involved, so Adam Cole runs down and he super kicks him. Then Michael Elegant comes down, he starts fighting with Adam Cole. Eddie Edwards hits a dive onto Elegant on the outside. Meanwhile, Roderick Strong puts this weird uh, tape. You know how sometimes wrestlers grab this like taped up thing and they put it on their wrists when the referee isn't looking and it looks like a bunch of masking tape or something like that? And then they knock the guy out. Well, this was the same thing, except it went on his foot. So he kicks Eddie Edwards in the head. Gets the win on him, but meanwhile another referee comes out and says no, he cheated, and the original referee's like, what are you talking about? But before the referee has a chance to change his mind and reverse the decision, Eddie Edwards hit, uh, picks up Roger Strong for the die hard, bumps the original ref, and hits the die hard, and the new ref get, counts the win for Eddie Edwards. So they got this confusion on who's the winner, the original referee gets up and says, what the hell just happened? Uh, you can't take back my decision. And uh, so the referees start arguing. Eddie Edwards, Roger Strong starts arguing. Jim Cornette comes out with Kevin Kelly. They're in the ring. They want a decision. And Jim Cornette books for the March 30th pay-per-view show. It's going to be Davey Richards versus Eddie Edwards and Roger Strong in a triple threat match. And then it cuts to Davey Richards and his music plays. And he's at the ramp. And he comes out. He's staring at both guys. And then the show just cuts off. It like ran right down to the wire. So this was a great TV episode, I thought, tonight. Um, I'm very excited about the pay-per-view tomorrow. I think it's going to be awesome. So I will be doing a review of that. Uh, it starts at like 5 o'clock. It will probably go four hours, I'm sure, at least. So I'll have that review up as soon as the show is over and I can record it and then upload it. Probably going to take me a little bit to upload, but I will have my review of the Ring of Honor 10th Anniversary show up tomorrow. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, please subscribe to my channel, rate the videos, leave some comments, and thanks for watching.